Um, please, can you describe the process you had to go through to get started as a volunteer, or describes the steps you had to follow and how efficient or not efficient you found the process, if you found any obstacles or encountered any problems? No problems. It was as easy as it could be. It was, uh, uh, I, I, it, it was a very nice... Uh, the, the, the initial, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Description on some photographs of an, an outline of, of the foundation, which came with the initial um, <coughs> uh, email, um, immediately caught my imagination, uh, mainly because of the location, to be honest. Um, and so I, I, I sent off a quick reply. Um, and I got a, a very prompt response, um, and um, and Barbara said she would send off my recommendation to the medical director, John Gear, who whom I then realised I knew. And so that was another added um, in, um, reason for me to come up and, and and do some work with him. So no obstacles or problems none, or none, none whatsoever. anything you want to no, no. report. Um, did you have any particular concerns or worries about volunteering while or before you were signing up? In detail, if you could describe any of your concerns or worries. No, my concerns were not not about volunteering at all, because I've, I've, I've done it um, four times before elsewhere. Um, since I, I'm still not fully retired, but semi-retired. Uh, my concerns I addressed with John, which was helpful, because it was what I felt I could offer, um, because um, I came with different from dis different disciplines within medicine, mainly psychiatry, which I had done quite a few years ago, and then moved into HIV care, um, and um, I wasn't sure. Um, what was needed of me. I wanted to do community work rather than uh, inpatient hospital work. So that was my my concern and that was, John immediately reassured me that I could choose pretty well what I'd like to do and he worked out a terrific program for me. Wonderful. Um, would you make any improvements to the sign-up process or any recommendations of how it could be easier or streamlined any kind of feedback on that? Um, well, yes, I had a few questions which I directed to John, um, but um, as, as I've, I've explained, and he could easily answer the, the, the few questions and reassure me that um, uh, I would I would find plenty that I, I could do. Um, in the initial um, 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 questionnaire, uh, the, the, the details were your CV, it, it was very limited, the information you gave, but uh, I imagined, I mean, it was adequate enough um, to then, exp you know, to, to discuss in more, in more detail about um, what, what one could do. Did you have specific expectations about how the process would unfold and what you would be doing? Yes, I, the one thing, um, I, um, that John discussed would be some teaching, um, which I wasn't expecting, but because um, I really haven't done much of that, but I was quite happy to do it. Um, um, and I, it was for BCMPs, M MPSs, and I didn't know what that meant. Uh, I gathered, clinical associates. Yes. <laughs> now I know they're medical associates. I wasn't sure if they were nurses or doctors, or because I hadn't heard of that course before. So, uh, not that it mattered in a big way, John did ex then eventually explain it right. But I still wasn't quite sure um, what to expect um, as far as the teaching was co concerned, but um, it was fine. So then it wouldn't have differed from your, your expectations, the reality of what you did here? No. No. In fact, it's sort of, it was something new and different to me, and then John also um, twist, no, he didn't twist my arm. He asked me if I would do two clinical presentations, uh, which turned into three, um, <laughs> for medical staff for and and uh, and for CPD points, uh, continuing professional development points. 
So that made me actually have to do a bit of homework and brushing up on things, which wasn't bad for me. And then I even learned how to do a PowerPoint presentation on top of it. So I learned a bit in the whole process. And it also, I enjoyed sort of getting back into psychiatry, which I hadn't been practicing for quite some time. Wonderful. If you could change three things, three things about the experience you had as a volunteer, what would they be? Change three things. I don't think. Or I anything can at think all. Think of one. Um, okay. Let alone three. Um, no, unless we come back to that question. Um, no, I, it was everything was pretty, pretty well as I expected. Some things were unexpected, which I'll talk about. Okay. Um, so, do you think your partici participation had a positive impact um, in terms of the medical facility itself, this, with the staff at the facility, and the patients? Uh, it, yes, I wasn't sure quite what to expect in the size of the hospital and the standards. Um, so that came as something of a shock to me, even though I volunteered before. But the volunteering I'd done before were in rural clinics. But um, so that was, and just the number of, of patients and the, the load of work, um, that was came and and just the density of the population in the, in the surrounding areas <clears throat> um, but it also made me realize that um, what any volunteering how what any contribution really helps to boost the staff carrying heavy workload and um, so I think that was one thing I, f I felt was 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 helpful um, um, and and I felt the staff appreciated the little bit that I, I, I could offer. Um, there definitely were some patients, some aspects of the, the patient um, uh, work that I did that I, I found rewarding. Um, but um, otherwise, um, I think it's important to, as a volunteer, you there to do whatever is asked of you pretty well, I think, and that's what I, I, I hoped I, I did do. Ah, well, it sounds like you do. Mm -hmm. um, do you think your participation changed anything about the way you view your life or do things? Um, I, I went, I did it because, uh, as I said, I'd volunteered before. Mm -hmm. So, and this again uh, just reinforced that it's, it, uh, it is rewarding to do and uh, I would certainly go um, um, recommend it to and I will be doing to a number of my friends and colleagues. Phenomenal. If there are three recommendations that you could make to improve the volunteer program for the experiences of future volunteers, what would they be? What would you improve? Yeah, you know, mm, I think word of mouth is always generally the best, the best way I, I think. Um, of, of, of passing on this sort of information um, but I was fortunate that it just found me so quickly and just at a time when I was looking for something to do so I was lucky in, in, in that regard um, I the previous organization I'd worked for which was based in KZN I had picked up about them at, uh, at a medical conference so I don't know if you are a presence at any medical conferences, but that's just a stand or something, and I think that would be a great way to, to yeah. attract volunteers. We have started. But are, are there any recommendations you would make to improve this, this volunteer program that we're doing? How could we improve it? I mean, where did you um, see places that we could actually improve? Just, just the volume. Just, just getting connected. Um, um, no, not really. I think perhaps the initial form to fill out just with your CV and your basic outline was was a bit um, um, sh small, okay. but um, because I felt the need to to elaborate a bit more, which which uh, was easy to do. Uh, 
um, uh, th through John Gear. But I guess if not for him, I could have asked some of the questions from other people. That's very Just helpful. to make sure mm. that I um, I would be useful, because um, I say because I, I had come from a very specific two dis di different disciplines, um, and um, but of course, as John had also said to me, you know, you you've got this information that you haven't used for a long time, but it's there. It's just um, once you start, and I found that now a lot of it more stuff comes back to you once you bunch of hands on, um, which I've enjoyed actually. What would you say are the th three key strengths of the volunteer program? I think the, the, the reward, uh, definitely uh, for oneself, uh, um, the most important. Um, the, the other, well, how did, was the question again? The, the three so the key strengths of strengths our program. So what the are the program. strengths of our program, um, if there are I think any? It's, it's it's very professional. Uh, just just the, the way it's presented, uh, your interaction, and I th I think that was that, that was very professional. Um, and I think um, uh, well, I don't know if this will come up later on, but just the, the people you meet. Um, in, on, in other volunteers and people who you come across, plus the staff at, at the hospital, the permanent staff. Um, it, was a, it was a great, uh, it was a pleasant social experience and a professional um, ex good experience. What were some of the best experiences during your time here as a volunteer, hmm. in or out of the clinics? Well, the one that stood out for me was going to to one of the um, the rural clinics. Um, I mentioned it, um, Flocomela, which was.